Hello, and welcome to Yoga for Computer Relief. Let's rinse out all those hours of sitting in front of the computer I know we've all been doing. And I'm Lauren Slater. I'll be guiding you through things. So a few things that you're gonna need prop-wise of whatever you have. You can grab a hand towel or a dish towel, some kind of massage ball. If you have a dog, you can grab your, your dog's bouncy ball collection. Um, again, this one is a little bit softer and this one is a little bit more spiky. So both are correct. It just depends on how much of an intensive massage you want for your body parts. Um, you also want to grab a yoga block and if you have it, a TheraBand. So welcome and let's begin. Come to stand and find a place that's comfortable for you. The only other thing that you will need today is some wall access. I have just a very small amount of wall and that's all basically you're going to need, but uh, be sure to try to find a spot for that. Coming to stand in Tadasana Mountain Pose, go ahead and just open your palms forward, close your eyes and take a long deep breath in and out through your nose. And then relaxing your chin down to your chest. Bring your shoulders up. You can relax your fingers, circle the shoulders down and back. And just do that two more times, letting the head draw forward, stretching out the back of the neck, put pull your abdominals in. And doing that one more time, shoulders circle up, back and down. And then lift the head back up to center and tip the head side to side, stretching out the side of your neck, ear to shoulder, imagine that feeling. And each time you go, you can let your body go into a small side bend as well. From there, bring your head back up to center. Bring your chin towards your chest. Bend your knees a little bit and round your spine forward. Slowly stack back up. Bring your shoulders back. Look up and arch up. We do that two more times. Round four, let the shoulders and your back round forward. Bend your knees. Pull your abdominals in. Stand up. Reach your palms back. Open up. And one more time. Bend. Round. Extend back, bring your head back to center, bring your arms back out side to side, spin one palm up, one palm turns away from you, and rotate your arms alternately in and out from the heads of the shoulders. Now that same side to side motion of your neck, tilt your head from side to side, ear to shoulder. Imagine that feeling rather than actually do it so that your shoulders continue to drop down the back away from those probably tight neck muscles. Bring your head over to one side and draw your right hand, let's say on the side to the left ear and the back of the opposite palm to your lower back. Looking straight forward, gently draw the two elbows apart. You can take a breath through the nose and out through the mouth, relax the jaw here. And then slowly release your arms to your upper body, go to the other side, tilt the head in another direction and bring one palm to the side of your head, guiding the head over and the back of the opposite palm onto your low back and sacrum. Now use that to pull the abdominals and drop the tailbone and side stretch over a little more. Release the arms, come back up and take one more big shoulder roll up, back and down. And then come down onto all fours, make your way into a tabletop position. If your wrists are feeling particularly irritated, you can always come onto fists or skip this portion. Cat and cow. Inhale, arch the chest, lift your head and tail, and press your shoulder blades apart. Continue to feel your abdominals engage, even when you arch your back, and then round your spine. Pull the head towards the pubic bone. As you arch like a wave, ripple tail on the head. Hold the sternum forward and breathe in. And then exhale, round the back, pull the navel to the spine, and push down through your ten fingertips. And one more time, arch the back, stretch it open. And then exhale, round your back, stay there and just wag your head and hips a little bit from side to side. Bring your spine back to neutral. And then from there, walk your knees forward and sit back onto your shins. Turn your palms open and slowly roll down to where your fingers connect to your palms. And then you can lean forward a little and reach down to the wrists. And then sit back towards your heels and roll up onto your fingertips. You can also do this with your toes tucked under if you want to add a little foot stretch. And that looks like this. And then roll that back up using a little more core strength for that one. And one more time, roll that down. Stretch it out. Walk your hands a little further forward unless that bothers your wrists. And then take a deep breath there, maybe shake the neck out. And then carefully move your hands close towards your knees to roll back up onto the fingertips. 
Turn the palms to face your knees and roll down to the back of the wrists. Take a moment there just to stretch the back of the wrists out. The elbows can be bent. This is too much on your wrists. Lean back and roll back up and release your toes. From here, go ahead and find your way all the way onto your back. Have your towel accessible to you. And you'll want to set up the towel, so this is like a dish towel size, that you have it from the long end folded in thirds. Like this. Place that on the ground behind you and you're going to lay your head on it. So make sure it's clean. And then as you lay all the way down, you want to make sure that the towel is closer towards the base of your head, closer toward the ears rather than the top of your head. With your feet open, hip distance apart, press down into the feet and think of pulling your bum towards your heels a little. Gather one side of the towel in each hand, elbows out 45 degrees. Inhale here. As you exhale, pull your abdominals in and slowly use that to lift your head and shoulders. Keeping your elbows in your peripheral vision, take a breath there and pull the stomach in. Keep looking down, push your head into the towel and then slowly lower the head back down to stretch your neck and strengthen it. Again, inhale. Think like your floating ribs press down that cantilevers the head up. Exhale, lift up. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. Hold the shape as you inhale. Looking down, push your head into the towel and then lengthen your neck out a little more as you lay back down. One more time, engage your feet and your bum. Inhale. Exhale, pull the stomach down, come up. Now stay there and very gently using your arms to turn your head, take a little twist to the head and neck side to side. Come back to center, push your head into the towel as you lay back down and then release the towel and release your arms. Crossing your arms over your chest like you're giving yourself a big hug, reach the base of the shoulder blades with each fingertips and push your shoulders out into each hand. From there, you can just stay there or rock a little bit the weight from right to left, not crushing your fingertips, but just start to roll on either side the upper back side slowly. This can be done with a roller, a foam roller underneath the spine as well, lengthwise from head to tail. Go ahead and open the arms out wide, squeeze your fists, open your fingers three times, stretching out the nerves of the fingers and the hands, and then cross the other elbow on top, give yourself a little hug. And again, a gentle pull of the stomach in, a little rock from side to side. Push your shoulders out into your hands and then reach your arms out wide. A little open and close of the fists. And then bringing the hands to the back of the knees, either roll over to one side or walk your feet a little bit away from you. Push down into the feet and crawl up the thighs to come up to sit. Inhale, arch, push down with the feet. Exhale, round. Pull your stomach in and in that C curve shape, round forward and lift your back. Inhale up, exhale, roll back. Try not to hang between the shoulder blades, but plug them down and back. And then keep that feeling, pull the stomach in, round forward to your knees and lift your back one more time. And roll that back and hold, round forward. Stack it up, put your fingertips behind you and cross one heel over the opposite knee. Sit up and rock your hips a little side to side. If you feel like you want a little bit more of a glute and hip stretch, scoot a little closer towards your standing foot, but keep working lifting your spine. Come back to center, move your hips back a little if you need more space to switch sides. Cross one heel over the opposite thigh, lift your back as much as possible. And then from there, maybe start to scoot forward a little. So we're starting to unlock the deep four rotator muscles in the glutes that get kind of tired and tight from sitting all day long. So this will help your posture immeasurably and relieve any back pain. Come back to center and release that. Once more, find your way up onto all fours. You can move the towel off of your mat. Thread the needle. You're going to raise one arm up, open the chest towards the ceiling and then dive that arm under the opposite wrist, slide onto the side of your shoulders. Now you may need to move your head and neck a little further forward or the knees a little bit wider. Walk the opposite hand overhead and push the floor away from you to roll towards the outside of the stretching shoulder. Focus your breath between the ribs, inhaling wide. Pull your hips to the wall behind you as you pull your stomach in and slowly twist onto the side of the shoulder that you're laying on. 
If your shoulder doesn't touch the ground yet, no problem, stay there. Wherever you can, and you can always put your head on a block. Move the supporting hand back by your face. Firm that shoulder into your back and come all the way up. Way up. Circle your arm around. And doing that on the other side. We'll turn around so you can see. You're going to raise the opposite arm up. Big breath in. Open the chest and shoulder. Dive down, twisting onto the side of the shoulder. Move the head and shoulders forward, or head and neck forward, keeping your shoulder where it is. The knees can walk a little bit further back and wider, and then tent up onto the opposite fingertips and gently press the chest open, pulling the stomach in. And from your mid ribs and above, roll the chest open and stretch out the back of the shoulder blade area, the subscapular region. Continue to breathe slow and steady, excavating all those tight spots via your breath. And then slide that other hand back by your face. Firm the shoulder up the back and come up with control. Circle that arm all the way down and around a few times. And then walk your hands forward and come into downward dog to stretch the back of the legs. Bend both knees, roll your shoulders apart and start to extend your legs out. You can bend one knee at a time here and even roll over the toenail side of each foot and reach both heels toward the ground. Take a deep breath in. Pull the ribs in, a deep breath out with the head dangle, and maybe shake your neck out. Walk your feet forward towards your hands, bending your knees as much as you need to. Bring your feet as wide as the shoulders and bend the knees a lot. Hold opposite elbows and let your body hang. Take a full breath in, a full breath out. Let go of your elbows and slowly roll up to stand. Take a big shoulder roll up, back and down. From there, go ahead and find your wall. Take your right hand against the wall and then start to turn your body away from that. You can keep your hand a little bit lower or bend your elbow, but we're working on trying to open up the pack in the chest. Staying like that or stretch the opposite arm back and open the shoulders. This can also be done in a doorway. Soften the heads of the shoulders down and back and try not to arch the rib cage too much for those who have more flexible mid back. Walk yourself in towards the wall and release and do the other side. Bring your hand against the wall, turn yourself away from that and then stretch the other arm back and open, press against the wall with your palm and slowly open that chest. And then turning yourself in towards the wall. Bring your forearms onto the wall at about shoulder height and almost like a half downward dog. This can be done on a countertop as well. You could press your elbows down onto countertop for more stability. Start to pull the hips and thighs back. Drop your head between the forearms, but push down and together with the forearms and the sides of your wrists. Maybe you can walk out a little bit more. The elbows may slide down again. Pull the floating ribs in so your shoulders are supported from your spine and your torso. And then just shift your weight forward enough to walk your feet in and walk yourself all the way up. And take a little shoulder roll there. To open up the mid-back and to tone the shoulders, you'll need your TheraBand and you'll need your block. If you don't have a block, you can always roll up a towel, but you'll want to be putting it between and kind of uh, between the shoulder blades lengthwise or widthwise like this. The hardest part is kind of getting it on the, the wall. So put the block against the wall, lean your mid back up against it, and then move your feet away from the wall so that you have at least one foot's length between you and where the wall is. The block should be a little bit below the kind of midpoint of the shoulder blades so that you could ideally almost arch your shoulders back to the wall without dropping the block. Place the TheraBand between your palms a little bit wider than shoulder distance. And then as you inhale, you're gonna pull your abdominals in, tuck your chin a little, push your head and bum back against the wall, bring your arms wide. Try not to break at the wrists. And then as you bring the arms away, the head and bum come away. And again, press out wide, hold for a moment, push the back of the head and the hips back into the wall. 
Keep using your stomach and bring your arms forward, your head and hips release. Do that 10 times. Push your head and hips back, open the chest and shoulders. And then slowly let that go. And again, press that up, open up. And slowly let that go. Five more times, pull that back, reach up fist to fist. And if this does not feel good for your back, move the block and just have your whole spine against the wall. Work on opening the chest and shoulders and keep that feeling as the arms come forward. Push the bum and head back, tuck the chin slightly. Strengthening the posterior train of your back and your body and opening up the frontal train. And one more time, stay there, count to five. Push your head and hips against the wall, reach out through the shoulders, four, three, pull the ribs together, two, and one. Bring the arms forward, shift your weight forward, and then just walk your feet in a little and breathe to remove the block. Place the block and TheraBand down. And then go back to that same shape where your feet are a little further away from you. The feet can be parallel, or if you know Pilates stance, that's heels together, toes slightly apart. From there, move your feet far enough forward that you can get as much of your back, including the head, the neck, and the lower back toward the wall. Never force with your neck, please. Micro bend your knees and pull the stomach to the wall. Swing your arms forward and up, and then circle the arms wide and down. And doing that two more times, try not to have the back come away from the wall, the ribs come away from the wall, and really work on opening up the chest and your posture. And again, lift that up, stretch it up, and exhale, circle that down. Reverse, inhale wide and up. Exhale down and forward, keeping the chest open. And again, inhale wide and up, pull the ribs in. Exhale, press that down. And one more time, open it up. As the arms come down, now bring your chin to your chest, peel one vertebrae at a time away from the wall. Keep your tailbone against the wall and reach forward toward the feet. And then slowly roll up, bend the knees a little bit and scoop the abdominals in and super slowly stack the vertebrae taller up the wall. Try to get each spot. And again, this time go only halfway down. Keep your waistline pulling back against the wall and then circle the arms, broadening and popping the upper back to the ceiling and reverse those little arm circles. Letting the arms come to rest and slowly stack the spine up, reaching the arms forward to shoulder level, bend the knees, keep your back nice and vertical and then squeeze your bum and slowly straighten your legs and reach the arms down. Little wall squat, bend the knees. You can always walk the feet a little further away from you, push your head and your ribs back against the wall. And then straighten and lift. And one more time, bend. Sit it down and hold there, pull the heels towards you, pull the stomach in. Open the chest and shoulders. Slowly stand back up. Keep your body against the wall as you walk your feet in. And then using your hands, press your whole body away from the wall and walk forward once again. Hopefully that already feels a lot more open. Final things here, I'm gonna stretch out the hip flexors and open up the neck and chest a little bit more. So turn sideways to the long side of the mat, the short side of the mat, excuse me, and then reach the arms up like a sun salutation, you'll start. But this time you're gonna bend both elbows, hands come back behind you, you can interlace your fingers, push your forearms into your head and your head into your forearms, and just arch the chest back and then straighten the arms, separate the hands, bend the knees as much as you need to to dive down. Place the right leg back towards the back of the mat. Lower your back knee down and point your back toes. Low crescent lunge is one of the best ones to open up the hip flexors and get out of the hips after sitting all day. Keep your front knee right over your ankle, or if it feels okay and safe for your body, start to let the hips come forward towards your front heel, kneecap tracking over the second toe. Stretch the right arm up, lift up out of the hips a little. Side bend over toward the bent knee. Come back up and lower the hands. Straighten the front leg by moving the front toes forward a little bit more. Walk your hands back. If you have two yoga blocks, you can put your hands on your blocks. And coming into half split, flex the front foot, reach your chest forward. That's plenty, just stay right there. Otherwise, keeping your back as long as possible, start to bend the elbows and dive down. 
Taking about three breaths in each position, which is plenty to start to unlock your back. I invite you to take more time if you haven't. And then lift your spine, rebend the front knee, and transfer the weight forward and switch. Again, take a moment to look. Your big toe and your front foot is facing forward. Climb up onto that front thigh and keep lifting through the stomach. Let's start to send your hips forward. The right heel is really digging down into the ground, lifting your chest, stretching out the whole train of the front of the hip, the lower abdominals and the quadriceps, all that get very tight and weak from sitting a lot. Reaching the left arm up and side bend, continue to find that stretch all the way to the whole front body. And lift back up, lower the hands down, shift your weight back and work your front foot forward a little bit more and then flex the front foot, half split. Stay here and just lift the spine, stretch forward, or start to bend the elbows and dive forward, keeping your spine as long as possible. If you can go all the way down, just make sure that your abdominals are drawn in and you're really stretching the spine to the front of your body as well. Lift yourself back up enough to rebend your knee. And one more time, this time let's step back into downward dog, shifting your weight back and walk your feet back. Lower down to the knees, lower down to the forearms, and make a tripod by interlacing your fingers with the elbows under the shoulders. Right there, look straight between the forearms and just let your shoulder blades sink together, and then push down into the elbows and push the upper back up. So toning the subscapular muscles now, strengthening the mid back. Pull your stomach in, let your shoulder blades sink, and then just push straight up. And one more time like that. From there, walk your elbows a little further forward, walk your feet out into a plank on your elbows and working the core strength and your spinal extension. Pull the tailbone down towards your heels, lift the stomach to the ceiling and push down into the forearms like you're trying to drag your elbows back. Looking straight down, push the skull to the ceiling and a little forward. And then hike the hips up, walk your feet in, dolphin on the elbows, walk the feet out as wide as your mat Bend the knees as much as you need to do. Stretch your chest back towards the thighs. And then little by little, extend the legs. You want to make sure that the head is off of the floor by pushing down firmly into the elbows. Roll the heads, the shoulders apart. Maybe dangle the head and shake your neck. Stretch the back of the hips by kicking back with your legs one more time. And then walk the feet in enough to lower your knees. Sit back into child's pose. Relax the arms down and forward and let your head rest. Deep breath into the side of the ribs, deep breath out. And then slowly roll yourself up to kneeling. You can stay seated or you're welcome to come to stand. Reaching the arms out side to side, give yourself a hug, one arm over the other. Stay like that or start to bind your forearms, eagle arms, collecting the fingers towards one another, Spiral the fingers and the forearms up and press your shoulders down and apart. You could play with any range of motion here. So you could side bend, you could lean forward and back, kind of circle the mid back. It's all beneficial to get some movement, increase the blood flow and stretch the muscles there. Release the arms out side to side. Bring your arms overhead, hold on to the right elbow, bend at that elbow, bring your hand between the shoulder blades and push your head into that upper arm, pull the ribs in a little. And then take a little side bend here, again, side to side. Same idea, round and move your upper back. You could just stand up in the middle of the day and just do this occasionally, just to kind of refresh your body. And then other side, eagle arms, cross the elbows, find that hug shape, you can always stay right here. Otherwise, start to bind the forearms together, the palms and fingertips spiral into the ceiling. Look between the forearms and relax your eyes a little. Move the hips and the shoulders side to side, just kind of let things swing and wave. And then bringing your arms back up overhead, catch a hold of the opposite elbow, left hand between the shoulder blades, elbow coming back behind the head, push your head a little into that top elbow. And again here, you can take a little side bend, get round the spine forward. 
and then release that and shake your arms out. Come down to all fours one more time if you weren't already. Grab your assortment of little massage balls. And we'll start with the gentler one. You're going to place, you can do this also with your arm on the desk. You're going to place the, the ball underneath you, hopefully on a non-slippery surface. And then place the forearm on the ball and roll out the muscles around the base of the forearm. So you go full lengthwise. And again, I'm on kind of meatier part of the underside there. And then flip, palm up. This one's a little trickier, but you can also get a little bit of the, the top side of the forearm muscles to release. And then do the palm of your hand. You can kind of push the heel of the hand into the ball, spreading your fingers, and you can squeeze the ball and release that a few times. And do that on the other side. Place the ball underneath your forearm, palm facing down and roll the forearm forward and back a few times there. Oh, it feels okay. I've discovered over the years that basically many of the things that I love to do, besides just working on the computer, require me to use my forearms, like gardening, and cooking, paddle boarding, yoga. So it's amazing how they're kind of the unsung heroes of the body where we do so much, and yet so much tension can easily accumulate and cause a lot of dysfunction and pain between the hands and the nerves of the arm. Switch to an open palm. So your PSA here is stretch your forearms and be kind to them. And then moving down to the heel of the hand. And again, you can just kind of push the hand into the ball and roll the palm out. Now you can play around with getting the heel of the hand near your thumb, little finger, there's no wrong motions. You squeeze that and release. And then if that feels like, okay, I'm ready for the next step, this is something I learned from climbers, from rock climbers who definitely use their forearms a lot. This is an option. Again, this may require a level of flexibility. You're not there yet. Don't worry about it. Just see what you can do. You come down to one forearm and you bring, I like to do opposite actually, one elbow, excuse me, one knee, pardon me, onto the forearm. And then you just massage with your knee downward pressure onto the forearm muscles. Make sure it doesn't feel like you're digging into the bone. And then you can move along the forearm. Try not to go too close to the ligaments of the wrists. And then release that. And just give your hand a little shake and try the other side. So I like forearm and opposite knee to kind of move yourself forward. It's a little awkward. And then massage in small circles. I'm moving my knee around in small circles to massage out the muscles of the forearms. And again, you can adjust where that position is closer down towards the wrist, but not again on the super ligamentous part of the wrist there in the tendons. Play around with rocking the weight forward and back. Good, and then release that. Sit back and shake your wrists out. Very nice. Go ahead and one more time, draw yourself back in the downward dog. Walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Walk your hands back towards your feet. And final thing, really releasing the spine through gravity. Bend your knees as much as you need to to have your sits bones over the heels and then release your head, interlace your hands palm to palm along the sides of your neck close to the edge of the skull. Wedge your elbows in between the jaw and the cheekbones and then open your mouth and let the weight of your arm just pull the top of the head to the floor as you breathe. Try to inflate the sense of breath along the spine. Exhale and just let that go. Be gentle, don't pull too much on the neck. Just let gravity do the work, but do engage the thighs firm around the kneecaps. Push down and apart with the soles of each foot. Gently use your arms to turn the head like a very slow motion no. Digging the heels of the hands into the sides of the neck muscles there to massage them a little further and then release your fingers. Move the feet onto the mat more underneath you. Bend both knees and clasp your hands behind your back. You can always use your towel between the palms. Roll your shoulders open, reach your knuckles back. Straighten just the right leg. So your feet again, make sure they're open enough so you feel like you're comfortable-ish here. And then roll the chest to the right toward the ceiling. Counterweight your arms over to the left. Take a big stretch of your chest up and forward. And then lay your body towards your legs, bend or straight legs, dive over them. Rebend both knees again, do the other side, 
Straighten just the left leg. Twist your body up and open to the left. And then reach your knuckles away to the right. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Roll your body down. Straighten both legs if you can. Keep your hands interlaced. Just separate the fingers and flip the palms open. Start to push the heels, the hands over the head. Carefully bring the arms up to the ceiling, then release them. Bend the knees like chair pose and start to look forward, engage the back body. Walk your hands onto your knees and like chair pose, start to sit back, pick your toes up. This is again a kind of founder spinal engagement exercise. Pull your stomach in, toes up, fire up the hamstrings, reach the arms forward. Draw all five fingertips together, like a little sphere of tension here. And then press the back of the skull, the mid back and ribs, and your tailbone straight back, fire up the muscles of your back. Push your toes down, now we're reaching opposition, arms forward, chest and head back. Keep that as you stand all the way up. Then cactus the arms by your side as you come all the way down. But keeping that good posture, finishing up, hands behind the head, feet together, or hip distance apart. Push your head into your hands, which I think feet hip distance part will be better for us. And then press down into one foot, bring one knee in, marching in place, try to use your stomach, lift. Now with the standing leg, push that flat thigh bone back. So you're really trying to find that stretch to the front of the hip and use your abdominals. Good, bring both feet down, push your head into your hands, side bend, come back up. Keep pushing your head into your hands, side bend, come back up and then twist. Push your head into your hands, you come back up, untwist, twist. Keep reaching that top elbow to the ceiling, push your head into it. Now add the legs, bring your knee in, twist and go over. Push your top elbow to the ceiling, untwist, foot down. Oh yeah, fun with balance. Lift, twist, bring your elbow towards your knee. Come back up, untwist, foot down, two more on each side. Just finish it off a little bigger, twist, touch, push your head into your top arm, untwist, knee up, twist, bring it towards you, come up and stand. One more time, switch which palm is on top, knee up, twist, reach down, come up, untwist, and foot down, and up, twist, touch, come up, untwist, and down. Bring your arms up, maybe lift the heels a little, find that good posture, circle the arms. And just take that with you through the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Please do this video daily. If again, you've been experiencing a lot of pain in your back, in your neck and shoulders, and please build up to things that maybe don't feel quite as right for you yet. Trust your body. Thank you so much. I'm Lauren Slater. Bye-bye.